I'm blinded <laughs> by the sparkle. Blinded by the light. <laughs> so you ready? I'm ready, girl. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to my podcast, Biliana Markova. Thank you, Briar. It's been a long time coming. Obviously, I've got you here on my podcast on International Women's Day. I just read a UN report about the, the state of women uh, from last year. There's only 25 percent women parliamentarians, under 30 percent of uh, CEOs are actually women and I'm sure in the Fortune 500 is far less than that. We, we really have to step it up. I mean the state of women is not good. I just do not believe that we are doing enough to include women in the technology space and this is a very real problem to me. Historically speaking, there was very limited space for women in leadership. So every woman probably felt like she needs to compete with other women to stay on top. Women have to realize that this is just not true. There's space for all of us. Uh, we all can succeed. What's your thoughts in the future about having artificial wombs? Do you think that this might help equalize the playing field a little bit? Why not have the choice? That's all I'm saying. Women in leadership get asked this question all the time. How do you balance your family and work? Whereas men never get asked this question and I find that a very sexist question. So either ask men as well or don't ask women this question. And I held my hands up and said, listen, I'm not here to cause anybody offense and I'm not here to talk about anybody in particular. So one of those people you were talking about, <laughs> could it be me? Oh my God, that is just so funny. I really felt like everyone was like gearing up for something. <laughs> like, we're not. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, but it's a very personal question.